When you pull into the campus, it feels like an oasis. You sort of escape from the bustle and the urban around you, and you have this beautiful club filled with smiling faces who are very warm, very welcoming, very friendly. Agawam Hunt was founded in 1897. The club was really considered the elite and premier country club in this part of the country, so it has quite a long and storied history here. The facilities are beautiful, the golf course is wonderful, the 10 grass tennis courts are really a very unique attribute to this part of the country, and I think more broadly it's the people here that made it, for me, a place that I wanted to try to help keep around. From the very beginning we felt like we were part of the community and it's felt like a home away from home for us since we've been members. My husband and I were really searching for something for our family, a place where we could come and our children could make friends and it was something that was missing for us you know, in our daily lives and the minute that we came we realized this was a place where we wanted to be and spend time. I first discovered the club when I was 16 years old. My dad and I came and played for the first time in 1976. I played here probably almost every year since then up till the present. Now I have four boys of my own, three of them who play tennis, and I alternate the three of them through the father-son tennis tournament. Agawam has had Wimbledon champions play here. Number one doubles team in the world, Fred McNair, played here with his dad and with two of his sons. We have some very, very serious competition here. You'll see some of the best father-son tennis in the country here. I play golf here probably on the average of twice a week. It's very peaceful. Usually the pace is good. But we don't have to wait for other people very often. And we just come out and hop on the course. We got together with the Nature Conservancy, and the Nature Conservancy is really all about maintaining open space, and so they were enthusiastic about this opportunity. We worked with the Aguam to conserve the golf course. The Aguam Hunt golf course is also an oasis in a pretty urban area, so it's important for birds and other wildlife to stop and rest and find food as they move around. So it's a, ecologically speaking, it's very important regionally, and so that's one of the reasons why we're here. Personally, what I like about it is we're breaking new ground. We're using something that is a tried and true nature conservancy approach to threats, which is land conservation, but we're using it in a totally different way. The fact that it is in an area that we haven't traditionally worked makes it really fun for me. We have a world-class chef, so we're having a lot of fun in terms of the clubhouse and member dining and member events. Chef Mitch does a much better job than anything I could whip up on a summer night. So now when it comes to date night, my husband and I would prefer to just come here. It's very easy, it's very intimate, and the food is as good as any restaurant in Providence. For the girls, Agawam really is this beautiful, rolling, green place to do cartwheels and tumble, just lay down and look at the sky and see the breeze blowing through the trees, and it's just a beautiful way to spend a summer evening. Our hope for Agawam for the future is to make sure it's here for 100 or 200 or 300 years. So that's, I think, objective number one, and I feel like at least we've been able to take the first step in that journey. Agawam is local to Providence. It has such an amazingly rich history. It's petite, it's manageable, it's beautiful. Everybody's really warm, really just kind and welcoming and looking out for each other. And that's nice, it's missing from the world largely, so it's nice to have a place where that is still happening. Mm -hmm.